In today's Madden 21 quick tip, we're going to be breaking down a great route that you can use to be able to beat the man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel is designed to help you get better at Madden 21 through tips, through strategies, and I upload four videos a day here on YouTube with some type of tangible tip, strategy, or tactic that you can add to your own game to be able to help you be a more effective Madden player. So if that's something that you're interested in getting better, I would encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen and be sure to turn the notifications on because we will be live streaming every single night on YouTube and on Twitch at 10 o'clock p.m. Links for that are in the description. All right, guys, so I wanted to cover a quick man-beating route, and this is basically, it's out of the Cardinals route, but it's found in a lot of different uh, playbooks. It's found in a lot of different uh, formations, and it's found also in a lot of different positions on the field. Sometimes it's from the outside receiver, sometimes it's from the slot receiver, but this route in general, in my opinion, does a pretty good job uh, against man-to-man -man coverage, and that is the deep dig route, about five to, or about 10-yard deep inverted dig route. These dig routes do really, really well against meta coverages because they're, they're automatically going to get the inside position Position, and they're always going to be able to basically get this nice little diving catch, uh, secure catch look. And you can smart route these routes if you want to. You're going to see they're going to go about 10 yards. And you see he's always going to get that inside position at the top of the route, and that's going to allow you to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Now what you can do off of this is they are going to have to – devote a significant amount of user um, user coverage to be able to take this away and then what you're going to be able to do off of this route is potentially be able to hit you know players deep over the top you know maybe if they press you can hit these these deep routes uh, over the top for user catches um, or you can also you can run route combinations alongside of it like slant routes or drag routes or deep out routes but overall in my opinion this is one of the better routes that I don't think a lot of people have been talking about this year um, just because of how consistent it it works specifically against the shade coverage over top meta so right there that was press covers I'm going to show you the shaded outside and shade over top he's going to get that free release he's going to be able to cut in and he's going to get that automatic win right there at that route and what's nice about this route in my opinion is you can smart route it to wherever you want so like if you're in a th if you're in a third and 20 you know you can come out and this route's going to go 20 yards and it's going to beat man to man at 20 yards as soon as he cuts to the inside he's always going to get this separation especially if they're shading uh coverage out up over top and outside but, you know, Stephon Gilmore is still one of the best corners. Uh, he's probably the best corner in regs. And you see, he can he can kind of do okay if he wins that press animation. One little quick tip that you can do with this uh, with this route is if you smart route it, like I said, it oftentimes, in my opinion, allows him to get a little bit better uh, inside positioning. But you'll see right there, you're going to be able to get that nice inside leverage. Good old practice mode with a dime 146. I'll tell you what, if you go into practice mode, just run dime 146. You're going to get like super, super crazy sheds this year. I don't know why, but I think it might actually translate into game action. Uh, the dime 146 gets crazy sheds every year. But you see here, if you just wait long enough, that route is going to come open for you at some specific point. You can actually, if you want to, um, you can throw it like right on break. And you see he's going to get that inside leverage mostly time but a lot of it if he gets rerouted if Stephon Gilmore is able to reroute him that's the one thing that can make this a little bit tricky but you see you get that nice diving catch animation if you don't click onto the receiver and if you just hold the secure catch button this is something you know that's really kind of uh, crazy that you're going to get that you're going to get that animation that consistently um, with this specific route and one other thing that you can do with this I have haven't talked about this too much you can actually high point it if you want to um, high pointing the ball, you're not going to get very many inaccurates with high point in it specifically because it's over, over 10 yards. And of course, as I say that I get a high point inaccurate, um, you're typically going to get fairly consistent high points. You want to wait again until he cuts to that inside, but right here, get that high point you see you can go up and get an aggressive catch uh if you want to but you know this route overall like i said it's a very simple route but it just does really well and it's out of multiple um we'll show you here good old uh good old stefan gilmore is just rerouting people like crazy if he does get rerouted you just have to wait for him to get to the in route point uh, of the route but if you come out like an empty base you can actually get it from the slot this play inside cross here is really 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 good um, just so that we can not have to deal with dime 146, we are going to come out in just like a like a nickel 335 odd look. 
and what you'll see here is Marquez Valdez Scantling is actually going to get pretty good separation uh, right to the inside very very easily um, against the against the safety right there. So you know this this route it can work from both inside the slot and outside the slot. What's really nice about the one from five wide is it's attached to a really really solid uh, post route that is going to get over the top in this route. A lot of the times you're going to be able to get this route to beat the man-to-man -man meta. Um, if it doesn't, you can oftentimes aggress it, aggressive to catch it, just to kind of save your butt. But if they shade coverage outside, if they shade coverage outside and over top, you're going to see this route right here to Devonte Adams is going to absolutely torch that cover two meta right over the top for an absolute dot one play touchdown against cover two man. So. You know, this inside cross play, those inverted in routes, I just wanted to give you highlight those a little bit. If you haven't tried those out, I want to encourage you to try those out. They beat man-to-man -man fairly well. They get very nice animations against zone. So I just want to encourage you to try that out. If you have not already picked up my Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook and my 46 defensive ebook, you can pick both of them up. They are a combo guide uh, this year, over 150 pages of material, over 10 hours of breakdowns for you guys. If you want to pick up that ebook, that is in the description as my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. So be sure to pick that up. One of the guys that picked it up said it's the best $25 he spent on Madden in his career. So just a lot of really, really good material in there. So I just want to encourage you to pick up that. We'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on Twitch and on YouTube. So be sure to follow the channel and subscribe to make sure that you uh, don't miss that stream. I'd love to hang out with you. We play subscribers live every single night. So if you want to get on stream, be sure to come by the stream. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Check out some of these videos on your screen.